so I need to unplug this thing. Now, oh. cool thing with this is you plug this end, not a standard USB, into the back of this. Make sure you have enough room because this wire is long and you don't want this like tipping over while you do this. plastic bag is where my screws came with. I'm going to just set that right here. I'm going to open up a new tab and then I'm going to go get my tablet so I can watch the chat. Alright, I got chat now. You guys are probably tired of hearing me roll around. This is the 05. So, I'll bring this website over here. This wonderful website tells me what boards and everything I need. And what we're looking at is this B column here. So let me find a 05 game. Actually, I think Majora's Mask, right? Yeah, let's go up here to Zelda. Or, I don't know, let me see. I do not want to reset the zero 02 right now since it has Robot Wars on it. Uh, zero 05. Perfect Dark. So yeah, there's something to do with the Transfer Pack and Rumble Pack and Controller Pack that is not working. I have to look into that. Maybe Speedway. Mm. What about... Where is it at? Where is it at? Paper Mario is down this way. That's what I want to look for. This is zero three. Dang. Well, crap. I might have to rewrite Super Robot Wars just to show you what's going or how to do this. Oh no, we can do Majora's Mask. Alright. This next part, I'm not going to show you the uh, website I use because I don't want this showing up. Also, I would like to point out, I suck at this game I'm downloading. So, keep that in mind. Alright, so we're going to minimize that. And whenever you get the actual uh, stuff in, you'll, your account will let you download all of this right here. You have installation files and everything. Alright, so we need that open. Paste your ROM inside your ROM folder. Open up this toolkit here. Refresh it. These are all the ones I got to try. And here you are. You're going to right click on the bit type and you're going to do Big Eden. It'll convert it. And then you'll unzip it. And then you close that. And you go back, you go back to this page here. Now, I'm going to unscrew this stuff. So, keep, bear with me for a second. And I will say it might be good to have a uh, screwdriver with like a magnet in it. That might be your best option. If I can get mine to work. If not, just give it a little love tap. Your screws are not that big. I'll show you the size. Probably won't even be able to see it. 
about yay big. Yeah, you can't even see that. That's how tiny they are. Hence this is why I use my bag to put it on. Now the last one I will not do this with. I will just take the back off after I light t loosen it up. I actually won't do it for the last two. Because I don't want to lose them. I don't know why my mag my thing's not being magnetized to them right now. They was doing it earlier when I originally did this. I'll just take it up. Pop that right here. And add some hair on there. Here's the board. So, right there. That is the side with the chips. There you can see a little bit better. Here's the side that isn't. Now, on top of this Blaster Master, uh, Probably, maybe. See where it says chips face this way. What I'm gonna do? I'm gonna let you watch me do this. Turn it upside down and put it in. Gently put it in, just like so. I'm gonna open up this program. And here's the important thing: you have to figure out what port this is connected to. Uh, when I did it earlier, it was COM3, so we're going to initialize. Blue light comes on. And then we're going to click Erase. That will erase the file currently on there. This might take a couple minutes. Once you get this set up, it'll, it gets a lot easier. But And once you get used to doing it. This is probably my third time trying to get a game working on this 05. If I'd known there would have been more uh, the games I wanted for the 05 for wouldn't work, I would have done it with the got a couple more O2s, and I would have had well Mario Party, Paper Mario, uh, Starcraft, Command and Conquer. Like I'll show you the list here. We have Command and Conquer. Conquer's Bad Fur Day was the first one I tried, did not work. Majora's Mask is what we're doing. Ogre Battle 64. Perfect Dark did not just work. We might try this uh, Robotech thing because that is a prototype that just got released online not too long ago. Super or Starcraft 64. We just were playing Super Robot Wars. So. Now we're going to come here. We're going to click right. And we're going uh, to pick the game. Do Majora's Mask open and now it is writing to it uh, you can see that little blue light right down there that is where it is uh, telling you it's writing and the other thing you can note is this thing right here is spinning that will tell you that it's writing as well so and this is pretty much all you do and you sit here and wait when you're done we're gonna Put this back together. I gotta open up my thing so I know where my camera is. There it is. We're gonna put this back together and put the screws back on. Hi! But until then, we'll leave the camera on this thing. And my tablet as I'm looking at uh, the chat. Because I, uh, the chat on the computer still ain't working. But this could literally take a couple minutes so we might just be here uh... why we're waiting on that here is the game list that i have currently and what i want so we currently have these games here those are all zero twos and here's everything else that i'm going to get as well because I asked my friends what games they want because we used to play a lot of these together. And almost all of them but one is a 0-2. The Banjo-Kazooie, my friend, she told me she 
she loves those games. A lot of people love those games. I'd never actually played them. So, uh, that's a 7103, which I'll have to pull the site up and I can tell you the other number for the chip that it'll be. Sin and Punishment, we don't know. I'm thinking it might be an O2. Uh, I remember playing either Battle Tanks or Battle Zone. I don't remember which one, so yeah, I want to get both of them. And then we have Batman Beyond. Because most of the games I actually want, I have back behind me. I have all the Star Wars games on the 64. Uh, Ocarina of Time, Super Mario 64, uh, Pokemon Stadium 2, and then there I got Pokemon Snap. I'm just missing Stadium 1, which I might actually get a copy of that. Because there's certain games I want actual copies for. And other games like this stuff on this list, I'm going to try out and see if I like them. And then of pretty much the way I look at this is if you don't have the money for some of these games, this might be the best way to do it. Just don't sell them. Like if you're if you're going to sell this stuff, tell the person it's a re reproduction and make like 5 bucks off it. Like don't be selling it for the price of the actual game, especially if the game's like $200. Don't be selling it for $200. That's just crap. Don't do that to people. Uh freaking the chip in the case is probably going to cost you around $30 maybe a little bit more for shipping like 35 so charge 40 if the game's over 40 bucks charge 40 and let them know it's a reproduction because they'll know because of these cases like come on this is, my, this is just so you can try out the other games like, that's the way I look at it. And yeah, there will be some games I don't want to buy because I don't have any real connection to owning them. But guess what? I'm going to get them do it through this way. And plus, with this, if you can get a group of people to do it, like I was talking earlier, you can go and try to create your own 64 game and actually go through the whole process. And that process actually starts with what I have up currently. Uh... I won't show you the ideas, but I'll read them off to you. I have some game ideas I was thinking about. And really what you do is... The way I got taught to start your... Game... Idea. I'll say it. Game idea. You split off into what genres. You list all of the types. And then you go to uh, art style. You list all the types you want. And then you go to your short uh, genre slash story pitches. And you go from there. And, you know, from that you can just be like, hey, we can get really crazy with this. Like, one of them I have is a historical parody. I say parody because I wanted to make fun of this stuff. I don't want to be serious, but kind of like how, what is that anime called? Uh... Where all the nations are like a person. Italia, I think it is. Something funny like that. Just, it doesn't care about it, but it's still wanting to teach you about it. And that idea really is just retelling the stories of old in an entertaining way. And you have all the different ancient uh, societies before, like, the turn of the 1900s and just have crazy things happening between different people have multiple different groups living at the same time when they shouldn't have been uh, I don't know it's just stuff like that I think it would be interesting to go from there then after you get everything written down you go through see if you and you have I'll say make yourself write two pages of the story start middle end and expand each idea and then from there I would take each idea then even further like all right you have your two page pitch for the story what's it gonna look like draw at least five pictures and the art style that you want it to be Okay, you got your art style down. Which one is more entertaining? Well, then you write a single page pitch with 
your art style, your name of your game that you want it to be, your, uh, what, two-line, three-line pitch of the story, and then, you know, what genre it is with the art, and what kind of sound you're going to have. Just have all, like, a short detailed description, one page only, easy to read of your information for that idea. And then you go show it to people, see what they think. And from there, you actually get into making the game doc. The game doc itself is what's going to be challenging. Because you remember how I told you you write your two-page idea for the story? Well, there, you go from two pages to however long you need that story to be. And you go detail by detail. After you write down the story, go to the background of the uh, world that you're in. Why is things the way they are? Write down like the history of the world that you can think of. After that, go into slang for the world. After that, you go into your characters. Show your good characters. Show their qualities. Uh, your concept art for them your color choices for them and just show samples of all that then after that you go into the uh, enemies same thing and you can even have a little bio for each one and with the bio after you've done all of that you go into the items the weapons the vehicles if you have them uh, the way you're gonna travel if it's like a space game are you gonna have customization on ships and stuff you just go into all the detail no matter how long it is and then after all that you go okay now I need to figure out how to program how to do the art how to do the music then you start researching game engines and the limitations of the game engines the limitations of the hardware and then after you find out the one you want and what the limitations are you write a technical document up at the back of your game document stating all that and you try to get as much information as you can into that game doc and it it just gets all your ideas down in detail about what you need and then from there you make up your schedule alright I have let's say two years to make a game we need to split up your time on models. So let's say your models uh, we'll use one of these. Say your model is going to be this fancy. As I realize I'm looking at the stream and not my it's going to be this fancy. So you're going to have all this little detail in here. That's a lot of work for a model. Now you might be able to get away with uh, just texturing a lot of that in and going the simple route with your models. Well, okay, you're using less polygons. You're using more memory on your textures. All right, so that memory is taken up from the other things that ha can happen on the screen. Are you going to put that much detail in your enemies, your NPCs, your buildings, your ground, everything else? And you just got to figure all that out. That, like, that's a lot to know, but once you start dabbing into that, oh, it gets so much fun. Like, just having talking to people about this stuff and working with each other on uh what do you call it just your ideas and everything that that just is the world to me that's why I went to school for game design and that is actually why I started doing YouTube is so I can talk about what it takes to do all this and real quick we can say this uh Let's see the so file size. Alright. No, no, we'll go name. And then we will find. So it's 32 megabytes. Perfect dark is roughly 30 megabytes. Now, the zip file is smaller because it's compressed. Ogre Battle's 35. Uh, Super Robot Wars is 23. So, yeah. It ain't that bad. And let's see. Robotech's only seven, so you can tell Robotech's not that big. There's less to it, but that is an alpha, a prototype of a game. Where Robot Wars is 23, 
megabytes. That's a lot to the game. StarCraft, they have a lot of the stuff added to the PC version, which, that's pretty nifty. Conker's Bad Fur Day is actually too big for the cart. It is 60 um, megabytes, and that's why it would w won't work. Uh, okay. Enough of my rambling. Because <laughs> we're done. Now, let me pop some of these screws out, hopefully. Or not. They're in there. Okay. Alright, so, your blue light's out. Your screen here says it's done. You click the disconnect button. It is now successfully disconnected. You see this thing right here? Um, I don't know where to put this. I'm trying to... Alright, that's done. So I'm going to take this out very carefully. Okay. I gotta get this other cart real quick. Because this is where I mess up all the time. Ooh, crap. So the part the screws go into, that part, is the back. So we're gonna do... This. Now this part's very important. Um, can't see because of the glare. See how the battery's on this side? This would be the front. So we don't want any of the chips facing the front. We want them to face the back. And then we just screw everything in. I might end up having to get a different game case for this one because I can't think I messed it up. Because I was trying to screw this in earlier and I had the thing backwards so I think I stripped the bottom. But it still holds it in. I would not put your boards into the system without being in a case. Just because they might be a little hard to get out. You don't want to break it. Right, that one's good. Good. Right. The way I tend to look at this. I look at the sides here, make sure they're shut all the way. Same thing, make sure it's shut all the way. Same thing on the top. Alright. Let's just go back to this chaz of a time. I'm gonna have to hook the cap card back up here in a second. Grab this and bring it back. All right, let's let's test out this. So, is this going to work? That is the question. So we have Majora's Mask here. Let's see if I can name this. I've never actually sat down and played this game, so this is going to be interesting. There you go. Look at that. My dog doesn't care. She wants me to shut up. I got to scoot back a little more. Because I has, still have my uh, <laughs> camera angled down and just like hitting right here. So, there we go. I guess I got to update this.
so far it's working, which is good. So I'm gonna put this next. No, never mind. You're gonna freak out. So yeah, this is actually really, really cool. I just showed you guys how to write a game onto one of these flat out without any hassle. And it's actually working, so there you go. I might do the Robotech one later tonight or tomorrow just because I want to actually play that. And here he comes. Or here comes the mask. With Skull Kid. Here's the funny thing. I think it was about, uh, whenever the game first came out. And I actually got this for a birthday present on my 3DS. And I've not got around. And, well, played it. And I'm like, I don't know how to do this crap. So we'll see. Since this game's quieter than the last one, I'm going to turn it up a little bit. So if it starts echoing, let me know. And I'll turn it back down. Hey Link, he's still your ocarina. What you gonna do about it? Creepy stare. And I think, I don't know, if you guys want more streams on, like, how to do game design, I would be happy to help, like, do them, and, or do streams just showing you the process. I will warn you the problem right now I have with doing like the artwork or the programming. I don't have 3ds Max or Photoshop on my tower. It was on my old tower before it messed up and I have to get it back. But I don't have a license anymore for Max so yeah. Then Photoshop they make you rent monthly now and that's kind of expensive for me currently. But programming wise, I'll have to actually learn the programming on how to do it and actually need to look up, uh, what do you call it? Uh, uh, why do I have nothing but Ocarina's? Alright, like I said, I've never played this game, so I don't know if this is glitched or not, or messed up in any way. That's some fancy jumping, man. Fancy jumping. Yeah. But we can go through the process of, like, how to do a game doc. How to do a pitch. Is I, especially with the idea of me wanting to get a game made, that'd be good for me to actually use a stream to go through all that. Ooh, what's that? It's Skull Kid. And hopefully I can get somebody to have some spare parts for a Windows XP machine with USBs on it that we can use a thumb drive to transfer stuff back and forth. And then we can load a uh, emulator and, and convert it into a development kit. 
and that'd be where we do a lot of our work. I was looking at something earlier today with uh, what is it called, Goldeneye, and you can open that up and then just like replace everything. The thing with that is I don't want to do a ROM hack. I want to make my own game. So, but like you could see all the weapon placements and everything in Goldeneye. And it, it was really, really nifty. Like, I keep saying like, but there's, I can't think of a way to explain it better. Because it's amazing just seeing that stuff. You don't, normal people don't really think about that when they play the games, I don't think. They just think about how much fun they're having. And for me, I try to tend to look and see if I can get a grasp of how they did something. So. Don't mind me, I'm yawning. I didn't sleep much today. That's the main reason why I want to also practice my skills and get better. And since everything's 3D nowadays, the best thing to start is an, uh, this kind of 3D where you have actual power in the system. You can do complex models, but yet you still have to keep the poly count low. And that's what I want to do. Woohoo! Holy crap, the camera's close. Like, see the grass? There, I know that is made where it's two planes intersecting, and then you do an alpha map over the top of it. And you have a hitbox on it, and a square. And then when you go to code it, you just tell it when player or when say character A interacts with object A play animation A and then when player A with weapon A interacts with object A play animation plus uh, fade out I guess you would say or play particle effect and fade out and that's how you would get it to disappear and then you would also put in, because I know in Ocarina of Time with the grass regrows and you see it shrink, go from like a tiny thing to a, the normal size. So you'd be like, after object A is destroyed, set time, respawn, object A, minimize, or scale zero, and you scale it up to 100%, or whatever percent it would be. I know it's really basic on the programming stuff, but I don't really know programming all too well. I s just... Uh oh. I b somewhat understand it. That's all. So you hold down this, and you shoot up, and then you hold that down. You're like, okay. Woo! Floating across. Um. See, this will make a couple of my friends very, very happy that I'm actually sitting down and playing this game. It's like, this game's amazing. I'm like, okay. I just never got into it. And we got some weapons. Let's see. Hey. We will put that here. Hold on. Which way am I going? 
Okay, so we're gonna go up. Hold that down and come over to this one. And real quick, let's see if I can. So this literal area itself is its own little bot, our own little zone. And when you go through the doors, it deloads the area behind you and loads this area. This area has nothing on the ground, and you're really high up with platforms of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight polygons, maybe. Yeah, eight polygons pull extruded down into the black, and it'll probably have a fill box in there saying anything below this level is color black. And when player enters fill box, they die or lose a heart. So it like super exciting. Oh god, make it, make it. Oh, I made it barely. No. We will get over here. And then I will talk to you. So we're gonna go through here, and another thing with the, with how you have a lot of the doors when you walk through them, it's literally same thing. You have a fill box. Once player gets in front of box, change color to black. From there, as player goes proceeds through box, fade to black, shrink out. Like pretty cool kind of thing the, all of this stuff is four five six polygons at most they try to keep it real down you can even see with these railings here they're just one polygon or technically two polygons with an alpha map on it Creepy dude. As soon as I can save this game, though, we're gonna stop because this is gonna be something I gotta actually play through myself without streaming because I don't want to get burned out. And then tomorrow, at some point, I will uh, try to get some time to stream the last Guardian Beast for Breath of the Wild. And then I, I'll need to know from everybody if you want. Me just to beat the game or hold up on beating the game and go explore until I find all the shrines and record these shrines separately like I usually do and upload them because I, I plan on finding the shrines but I would rather find out what everybody wants to see if they would rather see the end of the game now or wait until I get everything and then see the end of the game Let's go outside. Yay! Dawn of the first day. That means wake up. That's my baby. So.
Alright. Um, there you are. Ow! Dang! Can I take the mask off? Nope. This is right here why I never played this game. I gotta run. And run for my life. I don't know what side of this is. What are you lying for? Oh, you're scratching your ear. This is East Clock Town. Dang, get your hair everywhere. Alright, I gotta go back. Uh, yeah, I gotta go back. Crap. So that is East. Oh, okay. Stop looking at that. We're gonna go this way. You should be either... Uh, that should be south. Or is this north? Hey, look, Tingle. Okay, north. Good. I need some money. You know. Now I can buy one of your maps. Dun 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 dun. Oh, 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 oh. Sorry, my chat thing was. Yeah, WAP, we're back on Majora's because uh, Perfect Dark didn't work, and I gotta figure out why. Sorry, people keep messaging me. Yes, my wonderful rebel shirt. It's the same one I was wearing last night. Alright, I need to come... This way, I think. Uh, let's see. I'll go through here find out... I just need to save the damn game. Like, that's all I want to do. Is save the game. So hopefully this fairy will help me. Because I think I can turn into me. Yeah, see that's the problem. Last night nobody saw me because this camera that I'm using now. For some reason didn't work. And I know. I'm sorry I didn't have the DM cam on. Did I just die again? What the crap? What happens when I don't pay attention? Alright, I gotta go find this stupid fairy. Alright, fairy. You're gonna be you're gonna become mine. Where is this fairy?
Let's see what's down here. Dude, like, last night it really got me upset. Yeah, I'm not playing. Last night we were supposed to have new people play and because of the new person that came over not wanting to play, they just talked over everybody else. And that really made me upset. Hit the balloon, hit the balloon, hit the balloon. No. Uh, let's go find this fairy. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, I was telling everybody to bring new people over and hopefully we can grow the group. But, what are you doing? You know what? I'm going to cheat. I have a feeling the fairy's back there. I'm loading something up to figure out. Yeah, that's like the one thing is it gets The stray fairy will be in East Clock Town near the treasure chess game building. Alright, treasure chess game building. I'm not in East. Oh, god dang it. I gotta go to the East Clock Town. Alright, I might. I think I'm already there. Uh. the f. <sighs> huh. 
Hello everybody that's just joining us. This is legitimately my first time playing this game. That's the mayor's house. Uh, we are playing a reproduction cart. We did not destroy a game to do this. And I'm not making games to sell them. Crap dog 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 dog. I guess that ain't the way to go. We're literally playing this to show that we can make the game and not make the game but put the game on the cart and then how to do it and then the only thing I'm trying to do is save so I don't have to do all this over again. Climb up it. Nope. Okay. I have no idea where I'm going. I know where it is, but or not. I don't know where it is, but I know where I have to go. So. Hey, it's that guy. I might just say screw it and I don't want to do this. Like, I need to find out where to go. I don't want to give up. I know, that, like, I don't understand that. That's why I don't know if the game's messed up or not. Is it supposed to be like this? I don't care about sneaking into people's room. Hello, person. Whoa. Go back outside. We ain't going through the downstairs. That's just crazy. I'm just assuming I have to get over here. Let's find out what side of town we're on. South. So that was east. What the crap? It is in there. I don't know where this thing is. Uh, I have no idea. I'm completely lost. I don't see no stinking fairy. Oh wait, maybe the bell. That makes sense. Hit the bell, get the fairy. Alright, I'm gonna look at this one more time. I 
Oh, you know why it's not here? Cause it ain't nighttime. Let let's get this to be nighttime. Then we'll uh find it. <laughs> like why, why? What the crap? So we'll let it become night because you see it changing. I'm gonna, I'm gonna check the chat. I know you're being sarcastic about that, but I'm actually worried that I, this game has been tampered with. That's the one thing I don't like about dealing with the ROMs is is like it could have been tampered with, and you know you actually don't know if you never played the game. But all right, it's good. It's almost nighttime, and then we should find it in here. As soon as that sun t goes to a moon. And granted, I am looking at a 3DS guide, so that might be why. Hey, there it is. Tell me how. I just missed that. Wow. Gotcha. Did I seriously just die again? Is everything that touched me kill me? Okay, we need to go to North Town. And we need to go back to the Great Fairy and pray to God I don't get killed. Please don't kill me, please don't kill me, please don't kill me. Like, okay, wow. Or anybody else who's watching, is the reason why I got knocked out is because I am tainted with some kind of darkness and she's lightness. And that's why, I'm assuming. Okay, I have magic power. No, let me see. Okay, so... I might have... To oh no, I, I get... I get killed again. What the crap? Or am I my normal self? Those zeros were not my name. She's gonna kill me. I'm gonna die. Okay, so this game doesn't work either. What the crap? Is this is gonna be an infinite loop? Watch. Yeah. So all right. 
we are done with everything for tonight. I hope you guys enjoyed. I will have to play this on my 3DS, which I was hoping to play it on the 64. And the reason why I figured this was not working right is because all those zeros. That means the code in the game is messed up. Hence is why I don't like dealing with ROMs. But if you want to play games and not buy them, you know, well, this is going to be the best way to do it. It's pretty cool using this reproduction thing. You just got to work out all the kinks and stuff. But I hope you guys enjoyed this, what, hour and something stream, maybe. I don't know exactly how long. And maybe later tonight, if you go check out my Facebook page, there might be a game or two of Heroes of the Storm getting streamed. So don't forget to like, favorite, share, and comment. And let me know what your favorite 64 game is. Peace out, everybody.